of a family of raccoons, we think, in a window well. And they have gone in behind one of the window well coverings that you can put on. This actually can create more of a safe space for the raccoon because it's like a shelter. She's squeezing in behind it and it's creating basically like a roof for her. Not in that one. And, oh, I see two babies. No mom in there. Just the baby. Mom's out, I guess. But if you could look over here, she's squeezing through this and just see that little piece broke off. So it's not a door that just opens and closes for <laughs> her, which is perfect. It's a little weird she's not here during the day, but we will open this up. I see about three or four babies, I think. Yeah, they're moving. It's hard to see through the glass, but we'll just get a, a drill to take this off and we'll... So where, where do you think mom is? She could have gone out foraging last night and just been too far to make it back, or she came across a dog on her way back this morning and just had to hide for a bit. Usually, they are nocturnal, so usually during the day she should be lying with her babies, so... What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I think that's exactly it. She just hasn't come back yet. Yeah. Um, it's not unusual that mother raccoons get a little farther away from the den and uh, we'll, we'll see them even in our travels on the way to our first job. Um, and it's it's only 8 a.m. right now, so yeah. it's early. They're pretty big. He's moving around. His They're eyes might be open. Looks like eyes open. Which and, will uh, be cool. get the, the grabbers in case I can't reach down. Okay, let's go see how old these guys are. We've personally only seen tinier babies with their eyes still closed this year, but other people in the company have seen much larger babies with their eyes open. We'll just open up the box to be able to place the babies right inside once we get them out. So the mother could be even on her way back right now, so she could turn the corner at any moment and find us here. So just keep an eye out for her. But it'd be great if she did come back and then we could show her baby, she could take one. But either way, she'll come across our baby box once she comes back. Coming out. It's just sticky on there. It was the perfect spot for her. She had a roof and basically a mini house for her and the window well. So it's just silicone almost or putty or something holding it on. Half expect mom to come around that corner while we're working away here so we, we want to keep an eye out for her because you never know what her reaction might be okay there we go hey guys you're big <laughs> yeah, where's mom hi sweetie you're looking up at us the one sleeping the one closest to us you can see that guy's face. <laughs> A little crunched in there. Very cute. A really wide face. Yeah. So it's not too often we come across uh, a situation where mum during the day isn't with them. But uh, as I said earlier, when we are on our travels to our first eight o'clock appointment, we often see mother raccoons or a raccoon crossing the street on its way back home. So she's out there. These babies are quiet. They're not. Uh, they're not in any kind of danger. They they seem to be well fed. So it's just a matter of picking them up, securing the top of the cover, 
putting the box beside, let mom relocate tonight. We're gonna start grabbing the babies. Hopefully they're quiet, but it's okay if they yell out. So I'm just gonna reach in, grab one of them. It's okay, buddy. Good morning. Well, biggest ones. Oh, hey, hi. A little bit of a complaint. Hey. I know, I know. Where's your mama? Now we really want to watch out for where mom might be. It's okay. So, they are the biggest we've seen this year. This is my favorite age. They're the more interactive. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> You're very cute. He's not really complaining too much, yeah. just crying out. Confused what's happening for sure. Yeah. Who's your mom? Have you ever seen humans before? They're so cool at this age. So they are at least three weeks, maybe four weeks. Okay. Oh, okay. We'll put you in the box. There you go. Okay, we'll go down for number two. Bring him up. Same type of complaint, they just like yeah, to grumble. <laughs> just a little bit. Constantly watching Keep looking for mom. Here. It's okay. You guys make funny noises. Yeah, Usually well, it's more high pitched. Not your typical crying. complaint. No. It's low key. They're not that upset, just a little bit. Look at this little guy. He's like, I'm not sure what's happening, but he's awake. It's okay, buddy. This guy's a bit smaller. He's not complaining. So there's four total. We'll place him in the box and we'll get the last baby. He's cuddled up in the corner right now. He's not even sure he knows what's going on yet. He's <laughs> he hasn't sleeping. Lift, hasn't lifted his head at all. His eye, hands are covering his face. Okay. Oh, it's okay. You woke me up. Good morning. Good morning. I was sleeping here with three other people. Come on. Let's go. We'll go up. Number four. So the first one was actually the biggest. You can tell when you grab them, but they're all good, healthy size going on, huh? So cute at this age. Eyes wide open. <laughs> First babies this year we've seen eyes wide open. Totally aware of what's going on around them. Okay, we got you yeah. all in the box. They haven't really been trying to escape. No, they're happy. They're happy in there. They have their t-shirt. We will be closing this lid and keeping them right near the window well so when mom does come back probably this morning, she will be a little confused why her den is now closed off, but she'll find her babies in this box and be able to gather them. My goodness. <laughs> this is like my dream come true. <laughs> I love them so much. They are so cute. I know, I know. You like when you're climbing. He's content when he's on me, but when I pick him up, that's when he starts to complain, like, poor baby raccoons right now. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know to bite or anything, so they're not doing that. They're just putting their noses up, probably smelling me. But So do you think you have the best job in the world? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, you are okay. You're silly. Your mom's going to be back. You can tell her everything that happened. That Gates Wildlife came. We hung out for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> and then we put you in a heated box. Yeah. You tell her. And then she'll find a new space for you. The two in my arms have been so content, but <laughs> the other one is 
guy just wants to wander. This guy's so Sniff, cute here. and everything. I like him. I like little puppies, but even more interactive. Okay, how about we put you in the box? Okay. We can go do that. Piggyback it. <laughs> oh, you're caught. He's caught. There we go. Big armful of babies. <laughs> All right, time to go back. There you go, one. Number two. And three and four who haven't moved the whole time, they've just been content. Oh, now they're climbing. We've gotten them a little more awake. We'll close the slid so they can't get out and mom will be back to get them. So we were just securing the window well with screen and out of the box onto. I right can't play right now. I came a baby <laughs> raccoon. I'm supposed to be working. I can't play. I'd love to play with you. Yeah. This one's very social. Yeah, that's the one that was climbing me too. <laughs> he was I know. You remind me of the one I raised when I was a teenager. We had so much fun together and that's why I do what I do. Love you guys. Maybe you're Mandy reincarnated. <laughs> so that's why I got into this business. Um, I grew up on a ravine lot and had a baby raccoon when I was 17 years old and it, it became my constant companion. We uh, basically did everything together for an entire summer followed me everywhere and I even went and bought minnows and crayfish and put them in a, uh, a little shallow um, bowl and watched Mandy learn how to catch live bait, live food. Even taught Mandy how to raid garbage cans <laughs> and then two years later after releasing her um, she showed back up on my doorstep and uh, we had a, a bit of a reunion on my front lawn. I emptied my refrigerator on my front lawn and the reason I knew it was Mandy was because I whistled the tune I would always whistle when I was about to feed her and I saw this raccoon cross in the street and I whistled the tune and Mandy stopped in her tracks ran over to me climbed up my pant leg and sat on my shoulder um, and uh, yeah it was quite uh, quite emotional to see that I had taught a, a wild raccoon um, to be domesticated while it was with me and then again taught it to live in my neighborhood although I never saw it until two years after the fact but uh, yeah we spent about three hours on my front lawn I fed it peanut butter sandwiches and eggs and and everything and then never saw it again okay buddy I got some work to do I know <laughs> I don't know where your mama is. Okay, back in the bin. Back in the box. Go see your oh, he's in. I don't want to be with these guys. It's more fun outside. Get your butt in there. Get in there. All the way in. Buddy, you've got to go in. <laughs> I know. We ended up screening this window well because the window inside is actually functioning window it can never be opened so there's no risk of someone trying to get out of that window during a fire so we're able to secure it the raccoon can't get back inside and we have the babies in the box here we are going to place them right where she was getting into the window well but since they are bigger we are going to place the box up on its end because as you saw one has already been trying to get out and we don't want there to be a risk of them getting out without the mom Especially when she comes back for one, the door will be left open. We don't want the rest exploring out on their own for the first time out without mom. So we'll keep the babies here. We will close that door and we will set up our trail cam so we can see mom returning. So let's close this. Have the, the babies right here and our trail cam will go on that wall and we'll see what happens.
So everything's set up, the trail cam, the box, and the window well is screened. It is kind of nice that we didn't have to disturb the mom in this scenario. We didn't have to put her through any stress. She'll just come back and find her baby's in the box. She will be a bit confused, but that's okay. I don't know if I've ever done a job where you don't see the mom at all, but we'll be able to capture her on the trail cam and we'll show you that footage when we return. So unfortunately the mom did not come back. I have her babies in the box here. It appears that something has happened to her. She could have been hit by a car or anything really. Unfortunately, we don't know, but the homeowner did tell us after the fact that she hadn't seen her in a few days. So it's clear that she wasn't going to return for these babies. So we're going to take them with us and we have a job site. Our next job is with babies, hopefully the same age. So we'll bring them along and try to surrogate them out to the next mother. Okay, our next job has babies the exact same age as our orphaned babies here, which is perfect. So I'm going to take one out of the box right now and try to introduce him to the family right now. Because as you saw, we are trying to get the mom out from under the intersection. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Where's he coming for him? He's coming for him. So we're hoping this baby will lure her out and we can block her from going back in. Let's grab the net and we'll take him along. We found you a new mom. Yeah, someone's gonna take care of you. You have more brothers and sisters. We're gonna place him on the roof so she comes out for him. You cry out for mom. He's crawling towards it though. She sees the baby. Go get him. No. I want her to... It's okay. I might just get out of the way. Perfect. So that is the mother taking the orphaned baby. Amazing. The mom took the one baby, which is great. And here is the rest of the babies from the window well job. We are going to bring them and place them with their new brothers and sisters in the, in the box on the roof. So we'll take all three of them and we'll head up to the roof. Going on their last little trip before you see your new mom. It's so perfect that they are the same age because we wouldn't give a mom babies that weren't the age. The one's crying out. Oh, oh, mom has one. Okay, let her come down. She's coming. I was going in the garage. I told you we had to be careful. Oh. She probably won't stay there, Cassandra. I know. I just have three babies in my arms. I don't want her. Yeah. Okay. Let's get these up here okay. and get the box closed. Wow. <laughs> I knew I heard a baby closer. So mom came back. So I think she would have gone. She got it, got it out of the box. I think so. She's already, she already knows the setup. Yeah. Maybe she's amazing. I think she was just taking one and leaving. Honestly. Yeah. She was leaving with it. We just got in the we way. We disturbed her because otherwise she would have. Otherwise, um, she would have went back into her space, but yeah. you can hear that baby well, crying out. If so she's already starting this early in the day, I think she'll be able to relocate all of yeah, them pretty quickly. she'll get them pretty quickly. So, put these guys. I think she's going down. Is she? Yep, she's on the ground with that baby. Perfect. Oh. Baby ran away. Oh, she's she got goes. him. Good job, Mom. So that's great. She's already moving them to her alternate den site. And she'll probably be back for more while we're here if she's that quick. Can you put the box on the ground over there? Yeah, we can make it easier for her. I'll just place. It's okay, all of you in the box. All of you together. Let's go. 
So we'll let mom come back as much as she wants. We could place it down there. And yeah, let's do that. Let her make it easier for her. Where do you think she'll look though? Back on I think the she's coming between the houses there. Okay. But I, I mean, we want her to know they're up here, right? Yeah. She's comfortable coming near us. Yeah, okay. If we see her come back, we'll, we'll let her come We'll give her in. space. Yeah, we don't, we don't want to put her on the ground because the box would have to be set up in such a way that, to keep them in and she may miss them. And then um, it just might be too confusing. She knows the babies are here. We'll maintain that and, uh, and get the babies one by one from up here. It's not that big of a climb for her and she's quite agile. Um, no, just go, go give her a baby for sure. Number two. Hey, buddy. In all my years of doing this, I don't think I've seen such a maternal mother. Um, we had her in a net. She really didn't care of the experience and is so driven to get her babies. Thank you.